This is a step-by-step -step guide to show you how to mine the Verus coin using the Orange Pi 5 device. All links will be in the description below, so let's get started. There's a few things that we're going to need to get started. First, you're going to need the Orange Pi 5. I'm using the base model and it seems to be working fine. You can go up higher if that's what you'd like to do. Next, we'll need an SD card for the operating system. And to burn the operating system image, we'll use Bellina, but you can use Rufus or any other tool like that. We'll need an SSH client. In this demonstration, we're going to be using PuTTY. You'll also need a wallet. You can download the official wallet from the Veriscoin website. I'll make sure I link that down below. Lastly, you're going to need a pool to connect with. We're using Cloudicool in this example because they're not charging any fees until the end of the year. If you'd like to use a different pool, you just need to swap out the address. All right, so we're at the orangepie.org website. What we want to do is go over here to the top, service and downloads. We're going to click on the download page and then we'll scroll down a bit here and we're going to be looking for our device. So we have the Orange Pi 5 device. I'm going to select that, scroll down a little bit further over here. And down here we have the official images. What we're looking for is the Ubuntu image. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We have a bunch of options. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting the Jammy server. If you click on download, you might get this quota exceeded. A lot of people are jumping on this. If I can find alternate links, I'll post them on my blog. Uh, so you have multiple options for downloading this image. Okay, so I have the file now downloaded on my computer. And now what I want to do is use an etcher to write it to the micro SD card. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to be using the Bolana etcher. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert my micro SD card into the reader. Okay, and now that's inserted. I have a 32 gig Samsung SD card. So we have the SD in, and now what we want to do is flash from a file. Okay, I'm just going to select the image over here and click on open. And the next step is to flash it. So we'll click on flash get a prompt from Windows, we'll just say yes to it. And so now we're just gonna let it write that image. I'm gonna jump over to the next step. Flashing is now complete. What we'll do is we'll just exit out of everything and I'm gonna pop out the SD card and install it into the Orange Pi device. So I found the IP address by logging into my router and it's right over here, it's called Orange Pi. It came up and it's using this IP address, which I'm gonna copy it. And once you have the IP address, you can go ahead and put that inside PuTTY. PuTTY is a free download that you can get from their website. I'll make sure I link that in the description. We'll click on open. It's gonna open up the window for the terminal. I'm gonna accept that. And then it's gonna want me to log into the device. The username and password for this device is gonna be Orange Pi. And that's also gonna be the password. So I'll hit enter. I'm gonna type in the same thing and hit enter. And there we go, we're logged in. Let me just open this up a little bit so we can see it nice and clearly. Uh, the first thing that we wanna do is update the device. So we're gonna do a sudo apt update and then hit enter. Type in the password, which is also orange pi. Whoops, maybe I typed it in wrong. There we go. So it's gonna go ahead and do an update. Basically wanna do that before we do anything else. And I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, so that's done. And what we're gonna do is just reboot it. It's gonna kick us out for a moment and uh, we'll give it about a minute or so and then we'll log right back in. I'm gonna go ahead and log back in here. There we go, it looks like it has rebooted properly. Go ahead and type in the same password again. And now I'm gonna be using the instructions that's found on Discord. All right, so it's by oink70. Um, shout out to oink70. I'm gonna go now and go down to the Installation instructions. The first one is the LS CPU. So we're gonna go ahead and type in the first command. It gives you all the information that you need to know about the CPU that we have. Uh, we already meet the minimum requirements. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the next step, which is to run this curl command. I'm gonna go ahead and enter it in here and then hit enter. Let's ask for the password and I'm gonna type that in. It's gonna unpack and install this. I'll jump over to the next step when this has been complete. Installation is complete. Now we can go ahead and configure the miner. You can see it over here. This is where the configuration file is. So let's just change directory to CC miner. Hit enter. And now we'll list the files here. We should see the configuration file and there it is. So we'll just type in nano and then config.json. Now what we want to do is configure this with our pool information and our wallet information. And I'll be using the pool from Cladico. So we have the European server and a US server right over here for North America. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Go back over here. And this is gonna be with cursor. So I'll go ahead and can I delete it? Yep, paste that in. And the port is actually quadruple nine. And then the last thing that we have to do 
is change our address. I'm going to delete this out and now I'm going to put in my own wallet address. Paste that in. And now we're just going to clean this up. We're going to delete out the secondary pool since we're just using one. This is actually name is not correct. I don't think it really matters. It's the name. We really have to do this just so we're all aligned here. Okay, so we have the correct name. We have the correct URL with the correct port, all very important. Uh, timed out at 150 seconds. We have a wallet address. This is the wallet address I'm using. And then you can put in a period and then you can give it a name if you want. The algorithm is gonna be Varus. Threads I can leave as eight. I can use all eight. Everything else we're gonna leave as is. Now in order to finish that out, we're gonna do Control O to write it and then hit enter and it wrote 17 lines. That means we're good, it's been saved. Now we can exit, which is Control X, and we're out. And I'm gonna save this. Quick note, I accidentally left a comma. It looked like this, but it should look like this. Okay, so now that we have the configuration file completed and it's saved, we're ready to start the miner. To do that, we're gonna be typing in dot forward slash start dot sh, and then we can go ahead and hit enter and it says mining started. So we have it up and running and you can see the commands over here uh, to stop it and to, to monitor it. So to monitor it, you can see that it's screen space dash X CC minor. We're gonna type in screen space dash X, that's lowercase and then space capital CC minor. Okay, so here we are. We can see that it is now starting. Uh, it's gonna connect to the pool. We should see some activity here. Uh, might take a few moments for that to happen. So it looks like it, it already accepted one right now. That's gonna continue on. So that's a good sign. We can jump back in here after. We know that it's working, that's great. So we're gonna get out of the screen. Again, that's gonna be control E and then D. So one of the biggest things I'm gonna have in my area is I could probably lose power. That happens every once in a while when there's a storm. I want this to auto start. Uh, shout out to Matt Electron Engineering. I watched his video, he had this line added in. Uh, I didn't see it anywhere else. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. What we wanna do is type in cron on tab space dash E and then hit enter. And this is the first time that we're using it. Uh, we're gonna keep it consistent and use nano. So I'm gonna hit one, hit enter. And we're gonna go down to the very bottom here. And at the very bottom, we're gonna be adding a line. That line is gonna be at reboot space. And then we're gonna have that little squiggly line and then the forward slash CC minor slash start dot sh uh, now we can write the changes which is going to be control o and then hit enter and then control x to exit out and we're done so anytime there's a power outage it's automatically going to start it back up uh, you can go in and monitor it at any time by running this command you can see that it's running right now this lo all looks great we're, so we're under 10 watts of power to get this up and running extremely low power so very very efficient uh, miners using eight cores it's, it looks like it's a great way to mine the various coin and that's how you do it i hope you found this video useful if you did please smash that like button thank you for watching catch you on the next one